Uh, St. Augustine's Episcopal Church here in Galveston has a unique position because it is actually the oldest African-American Episcopal Church in the state of Texas, established in 1884. And through the years, it has been a center for the black community here on the island. Now though, things have changed. The neighborhood that we're in is much more varied and uh, about a third of the population on the island is now Hispanic, a third Caucasian, and a third is African American. And we find all those people here over at St. Augustine's. But now, as things have changed and the demographics in the neighborhood have changed, the church has grown and adapted to meet the needs of the neighborhood around us. So we have a community garden, which is open to all the people of the neighborhood. Additionally, we have our annual art show, which is held in conjunction with Art Walk in the fall. And that is open to all artists in the region. So we extend beyond the shores of Galveston and go into places as far as, believe it or not, Austin. We also have our annual barbecue, which uh, brings in, I, and I dare say, it's probably better than the Houston Rodeo Barbecue because we have barbecuers who come in from all over the country and our big draw is Neil Strotter, otherwise known as Big Mista, who grew up here at St. Augustine's and now is a nationally famous barbecuer. I was assigned to St. Augustine's two weeks before Hurricane Ike and I'm a bivocational priest. I'm a lawyer by day and then a priest all the time. Uh, when I was assigned here, my very first job was to inspect the property after Hurricane Ike. And I came down here when the island was still closed with our senior warden, Bill Taylor. And when I got to the island, I did not know whether or not there would be a church left. So my first order of business after that was actually being a, uh, a lawyer taking care of all the insurance claims as a result of that, and then after that, a general contractor when we were signing all the contracts to rebuild. The parish hall was destroyed during the hurricane, as was the classroom space, and now uh, we have beautiful facilities, and as I always remind the people here at St. Augustine's, we are one of the few churches in the diocese that has absolutely no mortgage with brand new buildings. I think the role for St. Augustine's going forward in the community here in Galveston is to continue that rich tradition that it always has had, and that is ministering to those who are societally here, maybe a little bit on the edges. St. Augustine's actually was the founding church of St. Vincent's House back in the 1950s, and it reached beyond Broadway to open the facility on the other side of Broadway, which was unheard of when it was done in the 1950s. And I think that's what it will continue to do now, to kind of break through some of these social barriers that we have. My biggest surprise is the way the people here have interacted together. Because with the grand diversity that is here, no one focuses on the differences at all. They really don't. And they look past it, and they all treat each other as a family. And to witness that is very humbling. <laughs>